Hello and welcome back to some more Pokemon Violet. Ooh, Laurent. Kitty. We just spent some time off screen trying to make the uh, that glide acceleration glitch work. It did not. We're turning it away. It's time for the young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give me my regards. Yes, Mr. Harrison. We're taking on the the team fairy. Young master. Mm-hmm. I guess that follows. Yeah. Isn't that like Dark Fairy? Yeah. And that's like a fairy. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? He gets all of his grunts to his dirty work for him. You, you mean like all of the others? Except for Harry. Alright. So, Haru, Nora, Iron Treads. Yeah, it sounds about right. You know what? Let's throw in another Pokemon just to half a team of six just to be safe. Yeah. I was like, at some point I want to catch another Miss Magius to transfer over to Scarlet. You mean a Miss Grievous? Yeah, that thing. Nice here. All of like the runoff from the mountain and stuff is here. Some more noise. Oh, right there. Yep, yeah, like 
See, uh, the uh, infinite flight glitch didn't seem to work on here. Yeah. And also, sure. you'd have to imagine that every single person who posts that infinite flight flight glitch to YouTube is somebody for whom the infinite flight glitch worked. Nobody's posting it and like, oh, infinite flight glitch doesn't work. Here's proof. We're suspecting that one factor might be that the sort of person who, uh, how, how do you put it, the sort of person who yes. will go looking for those sorts of glitches is also the sort of person who would make sure they have the highest end hardware. Yeah, so it might just be a case, oh, 31, 32. I think it may have dinged up to 33 at the last second. It could have. Within a minute and a half as well. Who's taking over 10 minutes? Oh. oh my god, a car. It's pink. Because, yeah, this game does lag from time to time. But I'm not going to spend, like, $500 also getting an OLED switch. Okay, here we go. Uh, so you're... There's zero. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I, I was expecting someone... A little more beef though. Oh, well, whatever. I don't, I don't care who you are. Not like I'm gonna lose to you. Anyway. You make very petrol but cuteness. You're in for a nasty surprise. I love the implication that they just painted the vehicles different colors and that gave the vehicles different types. Play next, so don't play me with the battles if you cooperate back home. No flower train. Also, I realized, um, uh, fairy resist start. Defense. Well, Haro being up front actually was the wrong choice. Like, I'm confused. Yeah, poison and steel is all. Oh, definitely switch to, uh... Spoon. Yeah, give it a quick break. Who That's what happened. It's mono fairy type. Hammer. Oh damn. Play rough. Damn. Now only other move that doesn't take half damage from is play rock. I would take some but you can't handle my Pokemon the world is great. Fairy types are about more than cuteness. Nice one. Hammer. And once we beat it, switch out for Iron Threads, for sure. Um, don't think we'll be allowed to switch out between Pokemon. I 
on game. Boom! Okay! I guess what the trigger was to start moving the joystick! What the heck? Why is my team on the road? That's totally not fair. Ooh. So say just swap out? Yeah, swap out. And I'd even suggest to start off with an electric terrain. It has a move that removes terrain. It has a move that apparently removes terrain. It was Missy Terrain, it didn't attack, Missy Terrain died. Okay. So no point in setting up terrain if it's just going to remove it immediately. Use rain? Also, apparently, you can't find uh, leftovers just sitting out in the wild in this game. You have to buy them. So I was trying to uh, see if I could find some leftovers from my own Gallade to catch Pokemon over in Scarlet version. Yeah. And yeah, apparently. It's not available to be found. You just have to buy it for the Oh, well. Wow. Well, we killed your car. Time for another 10 minute vaccine cutscene. A year and a half ago. God, after five voices. Ah, oh, what the heck? Hard to bug an inch, huh? Told you, it's, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile. I was up all night building it. My problem is clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. It's sad this thing to be powered by two Charcadet, but it's just too heavy. Such a shame. I want to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. Sorry, I, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. Tis no occasion for melancholy. When I make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand, genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? My new open up would have zero payout, and I've just asked the mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Uh, Mela, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? That hockey junk doesn't move? Get it moving. We're sure on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. It doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? 
I'm going to train up my Char Cadet and have him evolve. Mr. Firepower can start the field moving. No sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Mally, wait! You know, Mella shoots her mouth out an awful lot. She means well. I know. <sighs> this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against... Our code would make me a traitor to the team. Fine. No luck I have a choice anyway, so take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. I don't know why Ortega changed from Derry Derry to uh, Soon Derry, but okay. Not done yet. Here's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Baby doll eyes? We didn't use that once. He, he used baby doll eyes a whole bunch. That's why our noise attack went down so much. Yeah, and then like the one attacking move that he like said a thing before was play rough. He never used yeah. dazzling. Okay, see, I thought that you were saying he never used baby doll eyes. So, you know, you were the worst. Like, the most annoying person ever. He has me. I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit it that much. You even busted out my Starmobile. That's you. Asteroid. Mr. Harrington? I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? I say you've learned a much bigger lesson today. As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head off home. Mm hmm. Someday I'd like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. Wink, wink. The name's Clive. Okay, it's your business here. I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family, and a major apparel. So why a giant group like Team Star? I'm requested to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else would be. It's because I was being bullied. So the Academy really did used to have issues with hope. Bad grammar! Who would guess, right? School is all rainbows and butterflies these days. How would you know if you haven't been there in over a year? And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. What? What happened? As the former director of the academy, I believe I'm in the best position to answer that question. They all graduated. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. An altercation broke out between the groups. They did not escalate into a major incident. The altercation of the last caused a scandal of... Uh, here, though, two unknown proportions. So, for the court that day, the students who had perpetuated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. Well, well there aren't any records of that anywhere at the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. Well, why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. Student declared that they would take all of responsibility for the team's actions. The students requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Well, no one told me that. Except for the question, we agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I signed 18 months of overseas study to a student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying for the holiday. 
Santa is a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims after all. Why does it take some time to invest? So I had them return home to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. At the time, however, the former deputy director took part himself to raise all threats to the incident from the Academy Service. So that was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? It's terrible. After he discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course, but the ability of myself and the best of the teachers have to prevent the steel back. Pardon me. Also, I presented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teachers staff then joined me in handling in handing in the notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions and cause you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Team Stark cannot carry on its current fashions. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning, abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after you've come this far. How much of this cutscene would you get if you did this one first? I don't know. Your friends and Team Star must be a great deal. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? You know, they're like the greatest treasure in the whole world. Tragedy! Well, yeah, that's right. Nod to the phone. He'll hear you. Okay, see, look at the phone. You can see the case like wraps around to the front. A little bit. Like it covers the points of it. What do you mean? Like the part that sticks out the top and the part that sticks out the bottom. But completely it? wrapped in phone case. Oh, okay. Speedrunners are task. Sorry. I need to use the bathroom. So Ortega was the last. So five, and I've been toppled. They'll probably leave Team Star. And they'll soon Classic. be back. Oh, damn it. Nice work up there, Clay Zero. Is that Clive? Because you pay it, well done to you too. Thanks, but about your award, I'll transfer some less place over to your phone as promised. We're at almost 175,000 let's plays! Well, that reminds me, we're doing the whole supply, you know, prep thing this time, right? Oh. Only one thing left on the agenda. Defeat the big boss and have Team Star to ban for good. Where's the big boss? It's me! Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasure them more than anything. One like this Team Star won't do any good for anyone. I forgot to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force him to disband. Claire Zero, waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. I'll see you both there. I guess he appeared with the big boss as the team starts from high. I guess he fought possible. With his revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It's petty. It seems we'll have their answers after dark in the academy school. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. Yeah, like I said, I have to use the bathroom, so... Okay, then. So, let's see. So we're basically at the... F what looks to be most of the final phase for all requests. Yeah, I mean, we can go against the Leap War, we can battle, uh, Aven... Aven... Averin. Whatever his name is. We can battle him to go into Area Zero. We can battle against the, uh, Elite Four. And we can just go and try to disband Team Star. We should go and try to figure out... Right. What of this we want to do? Alright, so 
So if we do this, and we take this out, and we put it down in there. Sure, taking out these gold ducks fast. I think that's more XP, right? Probably. Hey, nope. Finding a shiny one of those little flower things would be tough to do. I wanna try to. Uh, yeah. Flip Baby is gonna be one of my uh, playthroughs for sure. Try to beat all of uh, Pokemon Scarlet with only a flip a -bay. But yeah, I guess we'll be back whenever it's up to So, uh, hold on tight, just a moment. So let's go. <coughs> oh god. Let's go and try to finish off Team Star. Somewhere awesome. around here. Alright, let's just climb up these stairs. You know, climbing up and down these stairs five times is a good way to evolve a Pokemon. It's me, the sub Zero. Director Cobell? Oh, come on, the name's Clive, remember? Actually, no, it's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Aw, oh, sent me know my voice. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Turns out it's actually Penny. <laughs> ha ha! How should you fix your hair that fast? I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. The truth, the boy you know is Clive is none other than the director of Uber Academy, Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. <laughs> my disguise was perfect! I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. Fine. Copy the controller. Must have been what gave me away. We recognized you the first time we met Clive. To be fair, the first time we met Clive, the character recognized. I didn't recognize until the character recognized. The big boss. Show sure, attention to Cassie appear the big boss of Team Star was me all along. No, no it wasn't. Now that will be a twist. That's impossible. That's impossible. Oh, Mr. Goodness. It, there was actually a pre recorded voice for off uh, High Tech Gizmo, so yes, it was very clever. Apparently we're doing this. Wait, does he have mice in his pockets? Oh no, that's just the Pokeballs. I thought he had two of the, you know, the hand-holdy mouse Pokemons. I believe that's Psychic type, actually. This thing? I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh god. So try using the Dark move. Franco is normal Psychic. Okay. Or do we want to just start off with a hammer? Okay, let's brutally swing at this thing. It's super effective, but not much damage. Alright, let's do the hammer. Hammer before we fall asleep. Damn. What's it gonna do to us now that we're asleep? Oh my gosh, Dream Eater. Not much damage, but it heals, which is annoying. Yeah, but now we can use Hammer. No, we can't. What? Really? 
Because that was the last move he used. It doesn't matter that there's a turn in between. Interesting. I did not realize that. Well, you know, knowledge is power and all that. Oh gosh, it's getting hurt. It might faint itself on our helmet. Ba 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 ba! No. no. Gyarados. Uh, electric type moves. Thunderbolt. Yeah, Gyarados famously dies to Thunderbolt. I, I, I really want to just name a Pokemon my favorite sports team so I could just see, go my favorite sports team. That's too long a name. I was supposed to famously die to Thunderbolt. Want to try it again? We could get lucky. Oh, it's Aqua Tail. Okay. Uh, we just need to hit it hard with something. Hammer. I mean, in this Not case. It's, uh, flying. Flying and flying. resists steel? Flying and water. One of the two dies. I guess it must be water. But, well, play rough. Water. Okay. Play rough is normal effective and is still stabbed. Okay. That worked. And it means we can use hammer on whatever comes up next. Yes. Poptegeist. Ghost type. Um, oh, I would have switched to Haru. Oh, because we have a dark type move on this Pokemon. Okay. <clears throat> we don't want to handle it, we can just really swing at it. And make it lower defense. All it's doing is burning us, which is not really much of an issue. It lowers our attack. Uh, do we want to just hammer it? Yes. Lowers our attack, but we lowered its defense. So let's just hammer it. Hammer. Oh god. Now if only we had... I was going to say, if only we had quick attack, but quick attack doesn't do anything. We could full heal. Full restore. Yeah, that thing. And if it doesn't uh, physically impacting move, if it doesn't contact move, it'll just faint. Yep. Like well, that. it tried. Yeah. Good job, Nora. High side up. Hi. Quack, 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 quack. Wait, uh, I probably want to see the bottom of the teacup. Does it have that dot of authenticity on it? Uh, I believe that's grass type. So we want fire, ice, or fly. Altaria. Amogus is grass poison. Flying fire, psychic ice. I would say switch to Altaria. Great bird! My thoughts exactly. You didn't even want a brave bird. Oh gosh, have you ever seen those comics of like the dumb bird doing just dumb bird stuff? They're so cute. Oh my god, it's that game! Among Us. Like, person offers their pet bird a bell, it's like, Hey, do you know what this is for? It And the bird's like, Yeah, I'm not dumb. It's a hat! 
Oh no, not toxic. Hey, speed. No, great bird. It's super effective. Okay. It's super effective and Brave Bird. We can Brave Bird next to it on Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a switch out, so. We could switch out. Obama Snow. Ice Grass. Isn't that also weak to flying? It is weak to flying. It is most weak to fire. Very weak to fire, which would be our daughter, but we can at least get in like a brave bread. Yes. Uh, remember, our daughter fainted. Ah, uh, yeah. But keep current Pokemon in brave bird. Oh my gosh, that Obama Snow came out with Snow Warning. Oh god. Right, that's. I start as a priority move, it seems. Um, Alright, uh, Steel. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Is Steel strong against. Oh, right, no, just do that in Body Press. Fighting, Flying, Poison, Rock, Bug, Steel, and then Fire. Iron Treads, Body Press. We could also Iron Head, because both of those are super effective. Okay, Iron Head, then, it's kind of stronger. Yeah, same base power, but this is, uh, stab. Yep, perfect glitch. Oh, voila, Veil! What did that do? There's a... Made them strong against physical and special moves. Hundred percent accuracy, Blizzard. But don't worry, I have a plan. What's our plan of attack? Just keep the using the same is, move over and over again. Skill oh, Skeletor, that's like a dragon poison, isn't it? No idea. Never seen it before. Let's keep our current Pokemon. Oh cool. no, what? Whoa. Oh. Skelly Dirge is Fire Ghost. Excellent. Keep it in. Keep it in. Keep it in? Okay then. Ground, Rock, Ghost, Water, Dark. Yeah. Uh, Terrastalize and Earthquake. Unless he terrestrializes into a flying type. But the earthquake is a little silly. Anything around it? He's an important trader. This is his last Pokemon. Of course he's gonna terrestrialize. I thought this is his second last Pokemon. No, no. Fortunately, it's just terrestrializing into just fire type. As long as we outspeed, we got this. We outspeeds it. Oh no, we're ground type. Fire isn't super effective right now. Super effective stab crit. So is Skeletor what uh, the fire type starter turns into? I have no idea. That would make sense because it explains what happened to the fire starter. Yes, that is the, the fire starter. Excellent. Apparently, he wasn't a very good trainer towards the fire starter and let it die to turn into a ghost. Yay! I must apologize. I'm not actually Cassiopeia, 
find myself being the same person as Noah. Why, mind you? This face is true that he made him. So then why do we fight? So I have to spare you from having to confront them in battle. The soul should not be yours to bear. So I'm forced to actually start to see through. Blah, blah, blah. You are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance of seeing that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burn one of my students with such a task. We're pleased to defeat Cassiopeia, take on the big boss of Team Star, and win. Leave it to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll leave this in your hands. Hey, it's a gym leader. It's no pleasure at all, Miss. Mr. Clavel, can we do investigate reports of illicit battle with schoolgirls? And what do I find? The director of the academy himself face off against one of us, students, no less. What were you thinking? Uh, if I could explain, it's actually a sad story. Oh, God. So, to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. Also, that's not the gym leader. The gym leader is Brian. Oh! Which means they must be sisters or something. Miss Time, Miss Rhyme. Unless uh, Miss Rhyme is her stage name. Also possible. Probably a bit more likely. So we have to come back here after dark again. Great. Yes. We. Alright. Okay. Well, want to heal up and try Arvin again? Uh. Yeah, sure. Let's, uh... Because we have. No. Fly here. So we can fight Arvin, we can fight Cassiopeia, and we can fight the Elite Four. Elite Four. But we might want to actually get our team into the 60s uh, before trying the Elite Four. I agree. That is, uh. A I would bit... say before Bakken go. Oh. Uh, it did just save. Okay. Let's see when we healed. It really looked like he just punched his dog into a Pokeball. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to get the dog into the ball. Let me taste you and see what we do. I mean, we could do this, but it's gonna just do the same. This Altaria can't be earthquaked. Yeah, Altaria, give it a moon blast. Or no, give it a. Wait, everything's just effective? It's normal. 
Oh. Okay, dragon then. Dragon. Dragon comes. Seriously? Knuckle. I don't remember what that is. There's a few. Guy Knuckle is rock. Awesome. Fighting ground steel water grass that Uncle Fun does knock out. Fighting ground steel water grass. Oh, I was gonna say Iron Treads Earthquake. Okay. I'm gonna just earthquake again and deal with this. Yeah. Dragon Hackle. Skull Villain is. Oh, I know. I think that's the fire grass thing. Yeah. Keep. Keep? Okay. And, uh. How is, uh. Nothing is super effective against this grass fire type. Damn. Flying would be the only thing. Flying poison rock, yes. Alright. And it surely has Yeah, fire and grass type moves. So it's two different oh, types. Of stab super factor. All right, cluster. We might as well. Just Brave Bird because we can't send Alteria back in. Agreed. So just Brave Bird. Cloister, famously super high defense. Sand how? Wait, no, yeah. it has high de it has insanely high defense. Send in our daughter to Thunder. Okay. That's a defense stat of 180 and a special defense of like 45. It's like literally four times defense over special, so. Ha! I thought I can survive a bit of water in the air. Our daughter is used to being wet. Hey! What? Uh, keep current Pokemon. Toad School. Ground Grass. Flying bug, fire, ice. Fire. 
Nope. Most of our parties all fainted. Is it just this one and the yeah, this one and the boss there? So we could trustize a uh, flower trick or use U turn. I think even with the super effective, trustize flower trick will probably do more. Yeah. Keep in mind, we will want to heal up uh, Nora. Almost certainly. health from the poison, I say flower trick, take it out, and then full restore. I agree. Against Mabostiff, and hope Mabostiff doesn't have something to uh, one-shot us. I mean, I imagine Mabostiff is going to grab the last. Intimidate, okay. Uh, bag. Full restore. Yeah. What level is the boss dip? 63. See, he wins too for the Terrasalize. Maybe people just flinch when they Terrasalize. Dark. Yeah, Robostiff is mono dark. Okay. Always grip or. A uh, flower trick. Uh, times two for being stabbed, so 140, times two for critting, 280 versus playing off, which would just be 180 with a chance to crit. Yeah, yeah, you're right, far right. Oh dear. Double stab crunch. Okay. I don't think. Yeah. So, who do we want to Bora. revive? Alright, bag. What do you think? Use up our max revive? I would say use. Oh god, that is very tempting. I'll leave it to you. Cause all things considered, because it's pointed stones, you probably have to. Oh, good point. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't look like it has anything that is super effective against Mora, which is good. Well, we've seen what two moves. Big 
Damn it. Does have something that's super effective, but it got hurt too. Oh. Wait, I have an idea. Revive anything. No, just hyper potion her. Okay. Even with its fire type move, it can't one shot her. It's gonna go for the fire type move. It's gonna take down some rocky helmet and faint. Or it's not gonna go for its fire type move and won't deal much damage. I mean, I was mostly worried if it got a critical hit. Yeah, fair. But we did it. See? We're ready! We only used a revive and two full heals. Do I have a full restore? No. So someone who could take down this tiny Pokemon, huh? Oh, I mean, yeah, you were right there with me. We're gonna need some more support. Pokemon, that was a close match. It was. Somebody with some cha champion rank level skills and somebody you can deal with. So we have to finish both of the other paths. The Mona. Yeah, it, it, from what I saw, it definitely seemed like Area Zero is supposed to be like the end of the yep. story story. Yep. Finish the pass, and then this is the one that takes you to the whatever. Yeah, right, so. Pokemon fully healed. Speaking of that, remember that cave that we originally found? Uh, this? Want to head down to that? I know if we can go in. Anything fun in here? Puppy. One XP. I don't think this is a great place for grinding. Doesn't appear that way now. Hey, look, a pocket ball. I'm sorry, did I just see a seal? It was like right in front of us. And then like the camera moved it just kind of like vanished. See you, see you. See you. Firebird with fairy type. I mean, I want to try to do the Elite Four, is what I'm thinking. You want to do the Four before we take on the Penny? That's what I was thinking. Okay. Or else I just quickly check out these guys. And, like, I don't know if our party is a suitable level for the Elite Four. Oh! Hey, look, another Gengar. Water Gengar. Yeah, I mean. It's water type, yeah, that is uh, okay, water type. Okay. So, those stakes in the ground remind me of a door that I saw way over here.
So do you want me to tell you the locations of all the states? Uh, we can do that in post-game. I'm sure. Okay. How do I get... Yeah. Oh, I can't just cheese it. Rude. Wait, shoot. Point. So there's a door somewhere. There we go, see? We've taken out one of the four stakes. Well, there's either seven or eight stakes. For each one. For each one? Are you sure it's not just two different doors? There's a total of four doors. Well, maybe, maybe each one has two doors, I don't know. All I know is that there's seven or eight stakes for each location. How many total stakes are there? Let me look this up again. 32 stakes? Let me look this up again. The ominous stakes. There are 32 of them. Okay, then. Yes, it looks like each location has 8 stakes. There we go. Watch. Just run around grabbing uh, loose items and stuff. How fun, right? Oh, Bagon! I wanted a uh, Bagon mine. That's right. You get one. <laughs> put a bag on it. If you like it, should it put a bag on it? Pocket ball. Pocket ball. Yeah, very much so. What's that behind us? I don't know. It is behind us. I saw something like big and yellow behind us just as I threw the ball. Oh, it's one of those little flying fairy Pokemons. Anyway, on to the Leaf Orb! 